esports is one thing that you should engage with, otherwise you'll be left behind. I think uh, a lot of other sports are trying to find a platform to engage with that is relevant for their sport, but we have a, a copy and paste solution with Virtual Regatta that we can use straight away and engage with, with as many people as we possibly can. You have two sides of the game. You have the inshore and the offshore. Um, the inshore is typically round um, a course where you have around eight to 10 players playing simultaneously. What that has is various different features where anyone can play against anybody in the world and uh, you can be on various different uh, styles of boats. So the most recent style is Sail GP, of which all the Sail GP sailors are playing e-sailing. So the actual sailors of Sail GP compete in e-Sail GP against anybody anywhere in the world. And you can also see how, you, um, how you're doing against those sailors within a ranking list. The other engagement that we're going to see more of is the offshore um, virtual regatta game. The offshore virtual regatta game allows you to race in real time against the professional sailor at the same time as the Vendée Globe, the Ocean Race, the Transat Jacques Vab, and that professional sailor you can compare how you're doing with real life weather and meteorology. So it's a real competition and, and it's in real time. What we have is the pinnacle of e-sailing, which is the e-sailing world championships. The goal for world sailing with e-sailing is to increase the participation. So we're putting um, the two disciplines next to each other um, and it's actually showing that sailors are doing very well as e-sailors. And I think that we're also seeing a marked change in the type of players that we have. They're a lot, lot younger. As world sailing we saw uh, virtual regatta is a great, great way to engage with a new audience and also to increase participation and interaction with our sport.